All right, this is a quick video on how to install a follow button into a WordPress blog. Let me sign out of here. We'll start from fresh. Anyway, just to explain who I am, this is my company, Abraham Harrison. There's a cute video there that you can check out when you have the time. This is the blog in question that we are going to edit. And the real reason behind this video is because I want one of my employees to do the same kind of edit to our corporate blog, which is Marketing conversation. So uh, somewhere right over here or something, there should hopefully be a follow us kind of addition type of thing. So um, I think with this, I think I'm going to try to create a follow me on Twitter button right above search, see what that looks like, but I'll share the process with you. Um, and it's probably going to be slow and ponderous, and I'll probably make lots of mistakes because I have unlimited recordability upload to YouTube, so I generally uh, don't do any editing and see what happens. And what I tell myself is that if I show you how clumsy the whole experience is, even with an expert, uh, you'll feel less self-loathing towards uh, that sort of thing. So. First thing, if you go to About Resource Follow button, you have to, or you should sign in first, right? So it's not making you, but you need to use the, uh, the website that you're going to put the button in for. So in this case, it would be C-H-R-I-S-A-B-R-A-H-A-M. That's the, that's the Twitter stream that you want uh, the people who click on the button to follow. And then, since all of the websites, um, including Marketing Conversation, are all white background, we want to make sure that there's a light background. Because there's a lot of followers, uh, I'm going to include the follower count and, uh, in English. So, I am going to then copy this. Oops. So I select it all, and then I copy, and then I go to my blog. I go to chrisabraham.com, and I log in, WP Admin, and uh, I hope that's the right login. And here is the administrator interface. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to an area called widgets. Now, widgets are a thing that's unique to, I think, WordPress.com as well as uh, WordPress uh, install like I have here, WordPress.org. So now it's all about the widgets. So I go to widgets. And see, there's the search. Let me open it up here to show you. At the top here, there's search, right? So this is search. Then there's text, which is the ads by Google. And then there's subscribe by email and my daily mile updates and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here until I get to arbitrary text of HTML. I'm going to make all this tinier so that I can so you can all see it. And I'm going to drag text up to uh, above search. Okay? And I will just paste the uh, script in there, and I will see what it looks like, okay? So that script that we found here associated with your username attached here. Now, if I want to make sure that the script is 
working perfectly, I could uh, log in to my Chris Abraham account, but I don't think it's required. So you can even do this for someone uh, if you're a SA system admin or a web programmer or something, you don't need to get the login and password apparently for uh, setting up someone else's decline. So we do not click automatically. We do not click automatically add paragraphs because we've got a, a bit of code here. And then we leave the title bar alone because we don't necessarily want a title. We want it to be clear HTML. And let's see what happens. We hit save. Now, here's something else, right? So we can close this. Here's something else because I have some pretty strong caching on this site. So I will go to WP Super Cache. I will go to Easy. I will scroll to Delete Cache. And then I will go to here, to the main page, and I will uh, do Control Shift R, which will give me a nice clean reload. And right here, there's a follow button, which is gorgeous. And so I can just click here, follow. Uh, or if I feel like maybe that's really relatively bad uh, UI. I'm instead going to go to widgets and I'm going to move that down here underneath search. Okay, so that automatically works. And then we can maybe go here again and go Control Shift R. And see that it moves down to there. So I click follow. It's going to ask me to log in. And sign in and follow. And there we go, following Chris Abraham. Now I don't like the amount of space that it creates there, but um, c'est la vie. Uh, and that's how it looks. If I wanted to, I can go deeper into the code base and I could uh, create something uh, different. Um, I can also, if I wanted to, I could go to, um, let's see, Google, uh, Google plus one webmaster tools and I can let's see here we are I just we just write it in the way it's supposed to because I'm silly right and I can go to uh, here we are Google webmaster plus one button and I could get myself a uh, standard, I can get a tall, I can get a medium, I can get a small. What I'll do is I'll get a standard. And I will uh, grab this code here. Okay. First of all, I need to get this code. Actually, this is way more information than you need, but so I'll stop right now. But the next video is going to be about how to install a Google Plus One. Um, anyway, so that's how it looks. Um, and I hope that this was a useful video. If it is, um, please subscribe or comment. Or you know, Actually, I'm so amused by comments that I don't even mind if you tell me that I'm slow or boring or dull. Um, I, I guess I'm that kind of child that loves attention, even negative attention. So um, thank you very much, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's uh, twitter.com slash chrisabraham. 
And there I am. Perfect. Bye-bye.